Okay guys, today we are back with another video. And today we're going to be showing you how to make a fortune teller. So, what you got to do first, you got to take the edge of the paper and you got to fold it to the other side. Just like this. So it kind of has like that. So like what I did is I took this and I just felt, folded it like that. Just like that. See? And then what you need to do is, I'm going to go get scissors, so. Okay. You get your scissors, and you see this part that's like, so you know how I um, felt this like this? You see this part down here? You're going to cut this off. Just perfectly. On. See, look, it's like that. That's what I was doing. And then what you do, after you do that, you, you then, then you see how it's like this? You want to fold it vertically, kind of like this. I want to just get as even as you can to get the sharpest form. I have a blister on my finger, but it's, it's been cut, kind of this. So I, I'm not like sliding. I can do it with this hand. Let me make it go faster. And so then you make it go like you have a crease there and a crease there. And then what you do after that is you take the corners and you make them go to the middle of the paper, all four. So, hang on, I'm doing this. While I'm doing this, you may look around the room or something. Just, you guys pretty much know what I'm doing. Because I just told you. So then you have kind of like this. And then what you do when you have on um, this with a little crease in the middle, then you're going to have to flip that over so it looks like this. And then you're going to do the same thing that you did over there. You're going to fold it, the corners in. And then after that, the things that um, you folded earlier, so what you're going to do is you're going to make it all fold perfectly like a square. And then what you're going to do is you're going to fold it like this so it looks like this and then you're going to unfold it and you're going to fold it the other way like that then after that you're going to take this place that doesn't have like the crease in it right there you see like how there's kind of like a little crack right there you're going to get the one that looks like this and you're going to put your fingers through it, just like this. I can't. Hang on. I'm not going to start somewhere. There. So what I said. of a little tip and then you have this and hopefully you guys know how to use it like you know this and then do like eight one two three four five six seven eight and then you would open a flap or something and you guys know how it works don't you 
you can also just look it up. And that is how you make a fortune teller. Hopefully you can do better than me. I have very, very hard paper, so it doesn't work as well. And if you don't want a fortune teller, just use it as a crown if you're playing something or something. Who knows? And don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys all next time. Bye.